Okay, so this is a little follow-up video to go along with my uh, Game Gear tutorials for uh, replacing the capacitors on these. So there's two different types of motherboard. There's a version 1 and a version 2. The version 2 has one extra capacitor over the version 1. All the capa capacitor values are identical for both uh, revisions of the motherboard. They're just in slightly different positions and the Model 2 has one extra capacitor on it. So the Model 1 board as you can see here there's two chips to the left hand corner of the motherboard. So that tells you that this is a Model 1 and it has 11 capacitors. On the Model 2, if you look in the same spot here, there's only a single chip and that tells you that you have a Model 2 and there is 12 capacitors in this one. So like I said, the values of the capacitors are identical. Um, this one just has one extra, um, which is the same as all the other ones on this side of the board funnily enough. So that's it, it's pretty simple. Um, in my experience, the Model 1 revision is by far and away far more common than the second one. Now at the minute I have about 7 or 8 Game Gears here. Some of them are boxed, um, some of them are loose. And this is the only one that's a Model 2. The rest of them are all Model 1s. And I have fixed dozens of game gears over the years, and I've only ever came across maybe half a dozen Model One board or Model Two boards. Sorry, so the Model One is definitely far more common than the Model Two. So that's it. That's how you determine which uh, revision of the motherboard you have. If it has two chips in the bottom left-hand corner. It's a Model 1. If you have one chip in the bottom left hand corner, it's a Model 2.